Hi guys, it's Stephanie and I wanted to do a quick video showing why you should not use Canva for designing shirts. I use Canva a lot. I like it. I use it to make my um, thumbnails for YouTube videos as well as some of um, different things I put out on social media. So I'm not dogging Canva in general. What I want you to know is why you should not use it to create t-shirts. Uh, so let me show you um, two things. This is actually the spec requirements for Merch uh, by Amazon. And these are pretty standard requirements across all print-on-demand um, sites. So use this as your standard. So if you go down here, it says create your design according to the specifications listed on the product images to the right. Image specifications and then you've got your, your width and your height and in inches, but this is the critical part. 300 PPI and that is um, pixels per inch. The other one you might hear is DPI which means dot per inch and it's basically um, exactly the same thing. You want your t-shirts to be in 300 dpi or ppi and what i would urge you to do is google uh, if you don't understand that it's the the more dots per square inch the crisper and cleaner the print and remember some of the sites that you might be using might not just be t-shirts you might print uh, a design on an iphone case or uh, a poster or a greeting card and all of those have to be in 300 dpi because if not it gets really pixelated and it looks terrible and your customers are going to be really upset so uh, let me show you on the canvas site they let you download sorry let me go back so when you say for example i wanted to uh, use this then I can download this um, this particular file I made and you have ping which is wonderful that's what you want to use when you're designing t-shirts however the ping DPI according to Canva is let's go back here JPEG and ping images are 96 DPI so that's a less than a third of what you're required now in here it says the PDFs are 300 DPI that's great but you most likely you can't use a PDF file on the print-on-demand sites out there on the internet so even if you it does look clean and crisp the file uh, type isn't going to work for you so use Canva for social media and say for YouTube thumbnails but do not use it for um, creating t-shirts for um, on print on demand sites whether it's Birch by Amazon or Redbubble or any of the other sites so again here it is on Merch, dot, uh, Merch by Amazon. They require 300 PPI. And even if some of the sites say 150 will be okay, don't just don't do it. Um, I just don't recommend it. And I think you just take uh, you have a risk if you do that. Now I just so you know different um, software that Merch by Amazon recommends for you to use. I use Illustrator and Photoshop, but even at the cheapest, it's fifty dollars a month. So if you don't want to use that, I would recommend that you download GIMP. It's a free software and it's pretty robust. So if you are ready to start designing, but you don't know what software to use, then give GIMP a try. So I hope that clears things up. I'm not trying to create any drama. I'm just trying to prevent you from making a mistake that could hurt you in the long run. So Canva is for social media, not for printing um, t-shirts use GIMP or some of the other uh, great software that's out there. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.